things, of course, that is hindering many people today from serving the Lord effectively. One of them could be getting a new job. You have the new job. You want to understand the job. You want to settle down at the job. And so the work of God in your hands suffers. It shouldn't. It's all about planning, organizing yourself in such a way that you will still be useful for God in his kingdom. You know, in those days, we didn't stop going to fellowship because we had exams. Today, I see many people, once examination time comes, you don't see them in church anymore. They don't go to house fellowship anymore because there's an exam they want to write. But you know something? If you start reading from day one that you started lectures, you won't need to miss anything because of exam. You won't need to even read throughout the whole night. Why? Because you're always ready. Why? Because you're on a program. Amen. Amen. For some others, it could be pregnancy. Oh, pregnancy sets in, so the work of God has to, you know, rest. <laughs> you know, you can still, with your pregnancy, by the grace of God, still sing in the choir. You can still be doing something useful. You can still write a tract. You can still write a book. You can still write an article. You can still encourage somebody. You can still lead a house fellowship. Hallelujah. So don't allow the cares of this world, the problems of this world, to separate you from the love of God and the work of God. Number four is laziness. Proverbs 22, 13. The Bible says, The slothful man said, There's a lion. There's a lion without, outside there. I shall be slain in the streets. Have you seen Christians who are full of excuses? Their problem is that they are lazy. It's a symptom of laziness. You need to kill laziness. Deal with laziness. Deal with it. Hallelujah. Deal with laziness. Successful people in the world, many of them work very hard to become successful. The same way, if you are going to be successful in the church, you have to work hard. It's all about hard work. And recently, one of our trainings we have been told that it's not, it's not talent. You may have good talents. But if you do not work hard, your talent will amount to nothing. Your talent will not fetch you anything except you add hard work to it. Praise God. Again, I remember when I was reading, I was doing A-levels, uh, something like preliminary studies. I had, we were given at least 200 tutorial questions in just one subject, like physics. 200. And I could solve all the 200 questions. So in the exam, I mean, I was comfortable. I over-delivered. When the man did not say, derive the equation, I derived it and used the equation to solve the problem. So, it would have no reason to take any mark off me. Why? Because I over-delivered. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how we need to work hard. If we want to be successful in the world, we have to work hard. We want to be successful in the church, we still also need to work hard in the church to be successful in the service of God. Mm -hmm.